I want to get back to the Tesla shareholder meeting. Uh, lots of news coming out of it. Uh, Elon Musk will stay on as chief. I think the bigger news was that Tesla claims battery technology advances. It claims to be years, a couple of years ahead of anybody else. That, that I think, is why uh, Tesla's up 14 bucks, nearly 5% as of right now. Gary Gasolo, foxnews.com auto editor, is with me now. What do you say? I'm saying the big news is that Tesla's battery is doing very, very well, and that's why the stock's up. Batteries is what all uh, is what electric cars are all about. You can get the price of batteries down, you've solved the problem. Electric motors are easy. Building the cars themselves are easy. This is the issue here. Uh, he says that uh, they're going to be able to get the price down to $100 per kilowatt hour uh, by the end of next year. Is that cheap? Uh, that will be very cheap. Yeah. Now, projections are that the entire industry will get to that price point in the next three, four, five years. Uh, LG Chem, probably the biggest competitor, uh, got it down to about $140 per kilowatt hour last year so that's probably brought it down a little bit now uh, but look if he can get to that point and he can build the 10 gigafactories he was talking about yesterday yeah. uh, this is going to be a big advantage and again remember tesla doesn't just make cars it builds these energy storage systems as well that's a big part of the business see i latched onto the battery story because that's concrete that is actual his projection, yes, I'm going to make Well, 5, not, uh, not concrete. That's projection. I mean, he's saying we hope to get there next year, and we've heard what his hopes are, have been like in the past. And didn't he quote actual numbers on the price of the batteries, the, the cost of the input to the batteries? That, that's what he's saying. I, look, I got the technology to make it, and I got prices down for the components, and this is what we're going to do. By the end of this year, by okay. the end of next year, hopefully. But it is getting there for sure. I think the market's mm. buying that argument, at least. But he also says we're gonna he's going to produce 5,000 Model 3s by the end of this month. That's another kind of rosy forecast, which people are letting him get away with. Said he's at 3,500 right now. They'll get to that 5,000 by the end of the month. Another key thing, though, is that that cheap $35,000 Model 3, he said, will not be widely available until the first quarter of next year. Now that's pushed it back even a little more than we've heard in the past. What's a gigafactory? Gigafactory is this factory that builds the batteries. In the future, they're also going to build vehicles there as well. Uh, they announced yesterday that they're very soon going to pinpoint uh, well, they said they're going to build one in Shanghai, China. They hadn't announced all the plans. And then next year, they're going to be announcing one for Europe. And ultimately, they plan to do 10 worldwide, but they didn't really put a time frame on that. My conclusion is that Tesla is a battery company. One key thing that came out of the yesterday, though, you've got to remember, uh, I don't know if you heard this part. Somebody asked him if Tesla would ever make motorcycles. Yeah. Uh, and he told a story about, you know what, when I was a kid, I rode motorcycles. And I had a road bike when I was a teenager. And when I was about 17, a truck almost killed me. So no, we're not going to build motorcycles. And I mean, I really think this kind of tells you how Tesla is run. You know, yeah. He's the chairman and CEO. He does what he wants. He makes the calls. That's a good point. It's yeah. all about him. All right, Gary, thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it.